Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ethel Natera. I'm with the Cebu Organizing Committee, handling media operations. And this morning, we're very fortunate to have no less than the chair of the Cebu Organizing Committee for APEC 2015, Governor Hilario Davide III. So uh, this is an open forum. So the media is, the governor opted not to give an opening statement, but instead go to the questions directly. So I give the floor to you. Who would like to, <coughs> who would like to shoot the first question? Uh, reminder to give your name and the media outlet that you belong to. And also another reminder is the question should be rela related to APEC only. So we will not entertain political questions here and any other questions, but only APEC related. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, please. Uh, good morning, Gov. Alan Domingo of JMA7. Gov, uh, can you just give us the, the overall assessment of the EPIC meeting? Since uh, it began in uh, last August 22nd, so far so good and we are happy. Uh, thankfully, I have not received uh, any report of any untoward incident involving uh, delegates of uh, the APEC and uh, traffic uh, in Cebu City, in Mandawi City, as well as in uh, Lapu-Lapu City have been uh, handled well by uh, the LGUs concerned. And, uh, and uh, we, I, I gather that uh, many delegates have already uh, 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 been to, have booked uh, tour packages since uh, their arrival uh, last week and uh, they're enjoying the sights, they're enjoying the natural beauty of Cebu and uh, the hospitality of uh, the Cebanos. So we hope to sustain that. Uh, uh, after all, uh, Cebuanos are really known for uh, their friendliness, for their uh, hospitality. So we hope to really uh, show the best of Cebu to the delegates of uh, APEC. Any other question, please? Would like to give another question or ask another question? Un say APEC sa APEC din he. Sa Cebu. Di ba? Ang APEC ini is that, uh, of course, we'd like to, uh, we are really ecstatic, of course, that uh, APEC uh, meetings are being uh, held here, that uh, Cebu was chosen as one of the venues, one of the principal venues of the APEC meetings here. And uh, next week, uh, I, uh, I understand the finance minister's meeting will be uh, uh, will be uh, on August 10th, and no less than the president, uh, President Aquino, would be around to, to speak at that uh, meeting. Um, of course, we hope to really uh, showcase Cebu as uh, a prime tourist and investment um, destination, and uh, this is a very great opportunity for us to show the best of uh, Cebu and the Cebuanos. Do I hear any other question from the local media, the Cebu media? I think you're shy. <laughs> you're too shy to ask. <laughs> Maybe, uh, is there anybody, uh, maybe, I, I'll, since you don't have any question, I'll shoot the question to the governor. Aside from investment and tourism, uh, as a tourist and investment destination, uh, what any other opportunity has the APEC hosting, hosting given to the Cebu, to Cebu, especially on the LGU cooperation? Yes, uh, definitely uh, we see here what we have observed uh, since uh, we started organizing here. The, the local co counterpart of the National Organizing Committee, we saw the, the uh, unity and the cooperation between and among the LGUs uh, uh, involved principally. Cebu City, Mandawi City, and Lapu Lapu City, and also the other LGUs, where I understand some uh, delegates have already uh, have already uh, where where, uh, uh, where some delegates have already uh, visited, uh, especially the uh, uh, tourist uh, spots in the north and in the south. So uh, very, it's very, it's very, uh, uh, very heartwarming to know that. Uh, the LGUs here have uh, uh, 
have put all their efforts in cooperating in seeing the, that the APEC meetings here would be a success. And of course, there, yes, ma'am. Hi, Mads Miraflor of Manila Bulletin. Uh, you mentioned earlier about the investment opportunities that would be brought about by yes. APEC meetings. Um, can you cite the sectors that will mostly benefit from the meetings? Thank you. Well, first, the manufacturing uh, industry. Uh, as you know, Cebu is known for its, uh, uh, for its uh, furniture industry, the fashion accessories, and uh, gift, gift, si gift items, and even the food industry here, uh, the chocolates uh, uh, that are really grown, uh, that are really made here, made in Cebu. Uh, the, the cacao industry and uh, and other for foreign direct investments uh, uh, related to manufacturing uh, we hope that after these meetings these uh, economies uh, participant uh, the, the participating economies would uh, uh, would see the potential uh, in Cebu any follow-up question uh, the MS, as, uh, MSMEs, for instance, the micro, small, and medium enterprises. That's also one of the, uh, I understand, one of the uh, topics to be discussed. And uh, we have here also a, uh, the MSMEs uh, supported uh, by uh, the private sector. would like to ask the next question from the print media, the local print media. TV? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma <coughs> uh, my name is Jess Agua from The Freeman. Um, aside, um, um, having observed and um, discussed the positive um, effects of hosting APEC, what are the things that um, you think Cebu can improve in terms of hosting events such as APEC and the like? Well, first and foremost, uh, the hosting the APEC is really a challenge now. It's a big challenge, especially since uh, this, uh, uh, the, uh, the delegates that we expect to, to come over to Cebu uh, number around 3,000. And uh, most of them would probably have their spouses with them and uh, some maybe... Uh, uh, staff of uh, the senior of officials, for instance, and the ministers. So that was a big challenge for us, and uh, we thank the National Organizing Committee uh, who have supported us uh, in our own preparations here in uh, in Cebu. And I thank, of course, the different committees that we've uh, set up uh, uh, in the uh, local organizing committee, and the LGUs who have lent their support and assistance in all of our uh, undertakings in, uh, in, preparing, in preparing for the hosting of these uh, uh, meetings here. And uh, maybe afterwards, after all of this is done, after all of the meetings, after the APEC meetings are, uh, are over, then we can, uh, we can assess uh, where we can further improve uh, uh, in a f where we can improve uh, in terms of uh, hosting uh, major international events in the future. And there's already one coming uh, in January, the International Eucharistic Congress, and we are also preparing for that. Yes, Victor. Good morning. My name is Victor Silva of Cebu Daily News. Gov, um, uh, the APEC hosting is probably one of the biggest international events we Cebu has hosted since the ASEAN Summit in 2007. And um, this coming January, we will be hosting IEC also. Do you think uh, the province's experience with APEC as of this time will make uh, hosting more international events in the future um, sort of uh, a walk in the park na, uh, considering that um, we faced uh, many challenges along the way for, thi for this hosting. Uh, this takes uh, a little getting, uh, uh, you have to get used to it, no? Uh, we've had major events already in the past, but this is probably the biggest so far, the uh, APEC. And after this, the International Eucharistic Congress. So we hope, really, uh, we hope 
that uh, after this experience, and of course, uh, after our past experiences, we would be able to uh, make some improvements. There is always room for improvement. So let's let's see. Let's see afterwards. Maybe the governor would like to expound more on the micro and small medium enterprises. Like what particular industries would you like to promote or for the delegates to see? Well, we've always uh, talked about inclusive growth. Uh, it's not just Metro Cebu we're looking at. We have to include uh, the other uh, parts of the province. Cebu has 44 municipalities, seven component cities, and two highly urbanized cities. Uh, it's not enough that we concentrate only in, uh, on uh, Mega Cebu. As you're well aware, there is a Mega Cebu, a Metro Cebu uh, coordinating board that uh, focuses on uh, 14 cities and municipalities in uh, Cebu. But there are other towns and cities outside of Metro Cebu that where economic opportunities are, are uh, that where, where, where economic, economic opportunities should be, uh, should be made uh, available to, to, to the people there. Uh, to discourage, of course, uh, uh, migration to Metro Cebu, especially to the highly urbanized cities. We, we have to, uh, that, that, which is the reason why uh, we've uh, encouraged uh, the private sector also to uh, focus on micro, small, and medium uh, enterprises in, uh, in the countryside. We want to develop the countryside as much as we can to provide economic opportunities to our uh, to Cebuanos there. Thank you, Gov. Any other question from the floor? Yes, Ms. Floor. I'm Floor Hitgana from San Square Cebu. Gov, um, we know that the delegates are more exposed in Cebu City, Lapu Lapu, and Mandawi, considering that uh, these are the areas where uh, the meeting venues are located. But, uh, but how can we? Um, uh, promote the or how th how will the towns outside the metro Cebu can benefit uh, with the when with Cebu hosting the APEC uh, meetings club? I'm sure I'm quite certain that uh, some of these delegates are curious. Uh, they would like to explore Cebu outside uh, uh, s more of Cebu. So some I believe have already gone to uh, the Oslob uh, uh, to to watch the uh, whale sharks there. And some have uh, even gone as far as uh, Samboan already to, to see the waterfalls. So uh, uh, this will this will really uh, uh, we would like we'd like our delegates to experience Cebu. We'd like them to to see Cebu for themselves. But uh, and uh, we'd like them also to we'd like our LGUs, our our, our municipalities and uh, cities to to be involved, to engage uh, these uh, delegates, and to 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 uh, showcase their, their own. Uh, Tourist, uh, tourist uh, destinations there, their nat native uh, delicacies. Uh, uh, so, so it's important that uh, these uh, outside of Metro Cebu, our uh, towns and our cities outside of Metro Cebu should also be uh, actively uh, participating in these uh, APEC uh, uh, in in uh, in uh, welcoming welcoming delegates to their uh, respective uh, towns and uh, cities. Uh, maybe the governor would also like to talk about the trade exhibit that the Department of Trade has mounted? Well, last August 22nd, that was the soft uh, soft launch of uh, the trade exhibit, the exquisitely Filipino exhibit that showcase, uh, that would showcase uh, Philippi uh, Cebuano products, uh, mostly fashion accessories, bags, uh, uh, furniture, furniture. There will be a, a gra grand launch uh, tomorrow uh, at SM, uh, and of course, uh, we'd like to invite all of you to 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 go to that exhibit. Uh, there, uh, delegates can uh, delegates to uh, APEC delegates would have the opportunity to to view and even uh, purchase uh, and buy buy these uh, fashion accessories and furniture if uh, they want to uh, to to really uh, uh, appreciate appreciate the products uh, that Cebu is producing, export products that Cebu is producing. There's going to be another exhibit tomorrow, which will open tomorrow. Yeah, uh, that's SM. 
at SM at, at the SM atrium of SM uh, tomorrow afternoon in this exhibit there will be more products that will be on display and this will also involve the other towns already yes uh, Good morning, I'm Annabella Grossas of Radio Nang Bayan, Cebu. Um, Gov, what is your message to the Cebuanos with regards to APIC? <laughs> Can I just say it in Cebuano? Are there, uh, from Manila, are you from Manila? No? Can, well, of course, uh, this is a great opportunity for the Cebuanos to, to really put their best foot forward uh, to promote Cebu as a uh, as a, a investment and tourism hub, and uh, we have to show the best of Cebu. This is uh, one great opportunity to show uh, to, to 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 show to the APEC delegates who we are, what what we are, and uh, what we can offer them. No. Give them we 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 let's help, let's uh, cooperate, let's unite uh, to make this uh, APEC meetings a a success, so that. Uh, when these delegates leave, when they leave Cebu, they would have uh, fond memories of Cebu. So that uh, I'm sure, I'm sure, most of them would uh, would come back and uh, bring their own families to to really uh, enjoy Cebu more. Yes, Alan. Uh, <coughs> I'll go with regards to the security issue. Uh, especially the possible entry of the foreign terrorist fighters. <laughs> but in Cebu, or do we have a strategic plan to prevent these things to happen? There is, there is. Uh, as a matter of fact, our, uh, of course, uh, Undersecretary uh, Ekarma, who heads, who chairs the uh, uh, Committee on uh, Security and Safety of the Delegates, uh, has his counterpart here, uh, the Regional Director Tambanias. Uh, they're all, they, they, they're all ready. Uh, for any eventuality. Uh, I'm confident that uh, we will be able to secure uh, our, uh, AP, our the delegates of APEC and uh, we would ensure uh, their uh, safety here while they are here uh, in Cebu. So uh, as far as uh, rumors or uh, rumors or of uh, possible uh, um, um, attacks or uh, possible uh, Violence or uh, anything, anything that would disrupt any of the meetings here. I'm sure uh, our. I am. I'm confident that our police, uh, or the police organization here, and even the armed forces are, are ready to uh, for any uh, for any such occurrence. Uh, I am satisfied that the uh, security preparations that have been uh, made uh, so far uh, during the meetings. Yes, Joe. Hi, Gov. George Kalifan from ABS-CBN. Gov, um, we all know the possible effect of these um, APEC meetings that we have, most especially it will benefit the economic aspect of the province. <coughs> but how are we really preparing in terms of additional investment in the future, maybe um, by enhancing the entry points that we have, including our international ports? Yes, that's one of the ports. And of course, uh, there is uh, the, uh, the need also to... Uh, to set up more economic zones for uh, future investments, uh, which is one of the uh, uh, programs that the provincial government uh, is uh, looking at uh, for, for for the future. Now we understand uh, there had been uh, there had been uh, uh, re uh, requests even by foreign uh, those those wanting to invest here. They're looking for uh, areas to where to. Uh, where to do business. So we are looking at that and the provincial government is uh, uh, through the PPDO and, uh, and, and uh, along with uh, the other LGUs uh, are uh, in the uh, Provincial Development Council, we will be tackling that, uh, the possibility of establishing more economic zones yeah. for future investments. For those who are not very familiar, PPDO in the province is the Provincial Planning and Development Office. And also, we go, we also have the investment promotion. Oh yes, yes. By the way, yes. Uh, 
Cebu, the provincial government has a uh, Cebu Provincial Investment uh, promo uh, Investment Promotions uh, Office, uh, which will handle handle uh, uh, investors that would interested to come to Cebu to invest in Cebu and to make business uh, to to uh, uh, the principal uh, the, the the primordial uh, uh, task of this uh, center is to make uh, business. Uh, Provide the, the business uh, business friendly climate for 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 investors to encourage them to to come to Cebu and uh, spend their uh, uh, pour their investments in, in Cebu. Uh, just in addition, <coughs> the investment promotion office was only established last year, and the and the private sector is also represented in the, this particular office. Let me also, uh, at this, uh, uh, let me take this opportunity to thank also our pri private sector partners. They've been very, very proactive and helping, uh, very, very helpful uh, uh, in the preparations for uh, the APEC meetings here. Any other reporter would like to ask a question? We still have time. Hello, Anna. Ah, Miss Floor. Abduhanam Miss Floor. Gov, can you give us a feedback from the delegates, like? Um, you mentioned earlier that they went to Tambuan and to the other um, <coughs> towns in the south. What were their feedback? I haven't spoken. I haven't spoken to any delegate yet. Uh, uh, I just saw them, but uh, as far as uh, the trip to Tambuan, I was just informed that some went to Tambuan. They booked a, a, a tour package uh, to uh, to Tambuan. There are, I think, nine participating, uh, uh, nine tour packages available to, to the, the delegates. If there are no other questions. So most of you from the local media want to ask political questions? I don't know. I do know. I don't know. I Lee. It seems that the local media are very shy. You don't want to ask. Oh no, they're not shy. <laughs> <laughs> if there's okay. no other question, then we'd like to ask the governor to give his oh. closing statement. No need at the end. I just uh, my message to to our uh, to, to our fellow Cebuanos and to our visitors. Uh, please, uh, to our visitors to the APEC delegates, please feel at home. Uh, uh, we will ensure your uh, that you would have a successful and a very uh, memorable visit to uh, to Cebu. So, salamat kayo for this opportunity, and uh, thank you, uh, members of the media who are here. I hope to have answered your questions satisfactorily. <laughs> Any appeal you would like to give to the Cebuanos Gov in relation to how they would like they will welcome their delegates cooperation among the Cebuanos? Well, yes, kita no need because we Cebuanos are really known for for their hospitality. Ang ato lang is of course there's some inconveniences ni Ali ato mas ama fellow Cebuanos would experience because of the of the APEC meetings, but. Uh, Mohangi uh, Alamputita or Pagsabot Nila, understanding because uh, this is a major event. And we, like I said before, we have to put our best foot forward to, pro to, to showcase Cebu and to promote uh, 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 the best, to show the best of Cebu no? to, to, to our visitors. What is unique about the Cebuanos or what is unique about Cebu that we would like the delegates to know about? <laughs> What makes Cebu unique is, is, is the Cebuanos, the people of Cebu. Uh, 
ang ang ang, ang atong mga 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 subuanon gyud is the subuanon that make Cebu unique so of yeah. course the lechon uh, ang mga fiestas nato din eh the typical filipino but what's really important is ang, ang katawa ang mga, mga ato yung mga isuro ng mga sebano because uh, ato pagkatao ato kinaiya nga accommodating kayo kita nga they're very friendly very hospitable malipay ta mga dunay bisita so important we, we we show we show we show to these to our visitors na uh, atong pagka pag accommodating pagka hospitable and i'm sure they will appreciate that i have no doubt that uh, uh, they will have fond memories of cebu okay no more question i'd so like to also recognize here assistant secretary lito nadal over there over there And Assistant Secretary Charles Jose. So, in behalf of the organizing committee, thank you for coming over and thank you, Governor Davido, for accommodating our request to be here. Good morning. Thank you, Pugayo. Pero sang sunod ane na paylas na. Maybe after all, after all, after the meetings, no, ingon ane yah po nta no para magassess ta sa koan. Pero you know also sa ikwan sa provincial government. Thank you very much and uh, have a nice day.